Our next story comes from Japan. Parents in the country are angry and they are calling for an end to the practice of topless health tests in schools. You heard that right. Children have been asked to strip to the waist during routine school health exams. The exams, which involve both boys and girls as young as 5 and up to 18 years old, have sparked widespread discomfort and in some cases trauma among students. In some parts, students in senior high schools are asked to remove their shirts and bras during the examinations. The issue has come to attention now because the children have also been too embarrassed to speak up about it. According to testimonies cited by British Daily, The Guardian, teachers ask students to lift their tops, completely exposing the chest. It's shocking and frankly outrageous that it has gone on for so long. The issue, in fact, is so widespread that it has now become a national issue in Japan. Parents and campaigners are calling on the health and educational authorities to end this practice before the new school year begins in April. The problem is that there is no unified policy on whether children should undress or remain clothed during health checkups. Local education boards are left to decide that in conjunction with the health professionals. While not all schools insist on topless health tests, there are many schools that insist that students remove their t-shirts and, among girls, bras. According to surveys, not just students and parents, even most teachers want the requirement to end. Why shouldn't they after all? Such health exams can have serious repercussions for children. But there is resistance, reportedly from the Japan Medical Association. And what's shocking is that in some cases, doctors, unsurprisingly mostly male doctors, have threatened to stop performing the exams if they are forced to change the procedure. And this is despite a notice issued by the Education Ministry, which was, earlier, which was issued early this year, asking boards of education to establish a medical examination environment with consideration for privacy and feelings of students. The Ministry also called for separate examinations for boys and girls and suggested using partitions or curtains. Kyoto City changed its policy under pressure from parents. But the problem still persists. Such practices show the utter lack of respect for students and their dignity. After all, what is the point of these checkups if they end up inflicting more harm in the long run? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.